Hi, this is Paul Linton, the Tech Modeler channel, with my update on the Revel Core Flower Class Corvette. And, and this ship is going to be the Compass Rose from the film The Cruel Sea. And I think I've said that quite a few times. That's popped up a bit. I'm just going to put that back down because it will be. I oh know it's going to be glued down because it's not permanent in place. Um, right, here we go then. The things I've been working on really is basically a new hatchway that goes here. You may be able to see it just about. We'll put uh, out to uh, scratch built that using plastic card in layers, three layers. I think it was a. Uh, millimeter I can't remember the boy but we'll get the measurements later on three pieces of laminated card cut square with a bit of um, 1 16th tubing cut and then a lid uh, put on the top and then we used a sanding stick to get the lid around uh, to the same circumference as the the tube now I do know slightly that top should be fraction lip over around it and I might sort that later but I'm quite happy where it is it is a good representation of what's on the compass rose Another thing is, <clears throat> which was the a, a bit of a long project uh, over this weekend, was the actual bandstand. It's included in place now, and what I used for the legs, the actual support legs, was um, two millimetre rods. And here they are, and these are the ones that came. That I thought I had the um, evergreen ones, but it, it came as these plastic strut ones. But at the end of the day, it still worked. They've done the job for me, and I'm going to be using them for something else later on. I'm going to try and do some voice tubes with them. But uh, basically you've got four of them and what I did was I actually cut a segment off so that it, the bandstand would sit into the lower bit so it sit. And on, if you see the film comes through you'll see those bits actually are lips around the side round. So I managed to do that. Um, also, uh, Switcher uh, gave me a brilliant idea in regards to double layering the, the armour um, plate that goes round. Well it's not much of a plate I must admit, it wouldn't have protect them too much. But the difference between the bandstand on the Compass Rose and all the other Kilvets you see is that theirs, that this, this layer here, would go the same height all the way round. If you watch the film you'll notice that there's actually an inlay, a drop down. And there is a purpose for it and you can work it out quite simply. Because with the 2 minute pom-pom it can actually point the gun down and point to, to this, down, this way down, like this in an arc, both sides. So they can actually fire down quite close to them in the sea. That's what I'm presuming anyway, but not press it as close that bit further out. But it, but it works. Also, this there was, I got the photo etch kit for this, and I found that it was too thin and fiddly, and I, to be honest, I didn't think it looked as good. So me doing this, so what I did is, with uh, uh, Switcher's idea, I put the first layer on first, round there, cut the shape of this, uh, in it using a paper mask to get the right angles and even then it wasn't right so I actually with it in situ I actually actually made it a bit wider so it's more to, more exactly the same as the film also inside I've put the anti-slip got the box done all boxed on there the only thing that's got to go on this now is the actual two uh, mask bits that come up here and that'll be angle iron and I'm going to use the evergreen amber iron it comes up to about this height and there's a bar goes off also I've noticed on the uh, on the um, compass there is actually a mast here where they put the ensign for some reason I'm sure that's what it is but I'll check into it so I've got to drill a small hole in this to get that to actually sit there um, it's not on the other Corvettes as far as I know but, but it is on the one in the film and that's the one I'm basing everything I, I do on this now the, all these um, trombones are, not, are just put in place for now because I want to paint them and uh, uh, later on separately and then put them back on but um, that's another thing so this was quite an awkward build. Also inside there, if you get the photo edge, but there's there's four brass rings of different sizes coming up. They've got a bit of etching on them, but to be honest, you're going to lose it all underneath the gun anyway. So I made them out of plastic card, doing the same sort of thicknesses coming up. So I ended up with a similar bit in the middle there. And that, that really worked out well. Underneath, um, I don't know whether I can come down lower on this. No, I can't. Underneath here, and I'll try and get another shot. Hold on, if I, if I take the camera off briefly, this and put it back up in a minute there you go if I come down I think you can see what I mean underneath there there you go uh, you can see I made the actual stands for it as well so that was the made and it was that was copied from the photo edge kit because the compass row seems to have had that underneath there what I can see in the angles I saw so I went with that rather than the, and I had cut off the same as Switcher did but he moved his um, support for the bandstand because his, his one was to the, to the rear on the co uh, Canadian Corvettes so I think that come out quite well so if I come over the top I think you'll see what I mean there you go. Also, I've got other hatches in place now that I never had last time. I've also, if I come up here, I know I've done that bit, yeah, that, so I might be able to get a better shot of this one here, I don't know. That's the hatch I built. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. There it is, it's going to focus now. Also, 
the cookhouse tube has got holes in it. I don't know if you can. See, oops, I don't know if you can see the holes in the tubes. I drilled them out again. Had a bit of luck with doing that, but uh, so if I come over the top, you might be able to see. There you go. I think you can see them. Yeah. Anyway, so this isn't glued in place. I've got to make now the next thing after doing this is the gun, or I might just go for the um, the mushrooms, as Richard calls them, and uh, the ventilation system. So I might do them next. You can put that back onto the old uh, stand and pull that out a bit more. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, that is. Sorry about that. Yeah, so things are going nicely, and and that was a big project over the weekend, as I said. So I think that's about it, really. I've got to start making all the voice pipes, and um, and I'm going to try and do that this week and, and make one and see if see if I can get it how I want it to look. And also, then I want to start doing the inside of the wheelhouse as well. I've got to make some more cupboards. These are the two. They are more or less in scale than what than what they are. They're raised off the deck like it would be, and as. Uh, uh, switcher told me basically if they weren't raised off the deck the sea water would get underneath and rust the bottoms out to covers quite quickly so so that's it I've just put that they will be glued in place um, I think that's it for this update I'm sure it's short and sweet uh, but there has been a lot going on it's just that uh, when you look at it it doesn't know I'll, I actually took this bit out here on this video I've got to recoat that with some uh, anti-slip the reason being there was meant to be a crane go there like, like a hoist but on the compass roads, every show photograph I saw, even when the crew was massed in this area, um, they, they they were standing and they didn't seem to be standing and there weren't a crane there. And then when I looked in another shot of the boat ship going by, it didn't have one there. So I've removed that the, the actual bits are there. That may be, may be used somewhere else, I don't know, but I will be keeping that part just in case. Um, so things are going well, um, quite slowly, but, but uh, to me it's not been going slowly because there's too much to go. I must admit, I think uh, um, Switch is right, our next build was going to be something quite simple. <laughs> so, there you go. So, thank you very much for watching, and um, I'll catch you next time. Bye.